place is a mess. When is that lazy good for nothing maid going to clean this place up? I just don't. Oh my goodness. Hello there. I had no idea you were up here ahead of me in the mask fan attic. Tonight, where we look for masks, oddly enough. And uh, oh, as fate would have it, I just happened to see an awesome old mask here. A really old one from 1977. It's the Don Post Eric. That's right, Eric. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Right now, you're going, oh, Eric. So this is a mask of uh, Eric Austin, the guy who founded the HMA website. Well, understandable. It's an easy mistake to make, but no, this, this actually is not supposed to be Eric Austin. And there's an easy way to tell them apart. Namely, this Eric is spelled with a K. And Eric Austin spells Eric with a C. That's on the end, not at the beginning, because that would be Crick. So, on the end, I'm talking about, yeah, Eric. The Mask came out in 1977. And it was basically uh, Don Post Studios' uh, version of the character of the Phantom of the Opera. Uh, not based on any of the movie designs, just kind of an original uh, reimagining of the character of the Phantom. I've always thought this was a really, really great mask. Always loved this guy. Uh, he's been with me forever. I've had one since I was a kid. And, well, actually, he's, he's kind of of, uh, he's of sentimental value and significance to me because uh, I, I was working at my own haunted house, which I ran when I was a teenage uh, person, and I was wearing this guy. And it was a cool mask to wear because it fit really tight on me, which means I could see out of that one I slit pretty well because it was such a tight fit and I could move the the jaw a little and make the mouth you know open a little bit but uh, well a, a, a girl who liked me at the time um, kissed me on Halloween which is my birthday while I was wearing this thing so she kissed that and, and literally stuck her tongue into the into that right so where are you going to meet women like that today? I know, but uh, it's a true story. But uh, Eric here has been with me forever. Uh, they did re-release it briefly in the 80s. They made a few of these. Uh, now, I, I'm pretty sure the 80s one was never cast in black rubber like the 70s version. Now, you see, the 70s version was black latex and then painted all over. Uh, I believe the 80s version, I think all of the copies of that that they made, which uh, I'm going to say uh, mid-80s, maybe 86 uh, or 7? That's what I'm going to say. That's a guess. Somewhere in there. That version, I think, was just made out of flesh-colored latex and then painted, uh, you know, with a lot more minimally, not as uh, extravagantly as the early version. And uh, I believe he didn't look quite as uh, dead. I think the 80s one wasn't quite as purpley, gray, blue, greenish. Didn't have quite this creepy effect. And of course, uh, it, it didn't have quite this nice a hair either, because they had uh, they were using a little different kind of hair by then. Similar, very similar, just a little bit different. Now the sculpture for Eric, again that's Eric, the mask, not Eric, the Austin. Okay, the sculpture was done by none other than Bill Malone, legendary uh, figure in the science fiction and horror and monster community and in the mass community directed great movies like Parasomnia and Scared to Death and the House on Haunted Hill remake and all kinds of cool stuff and he sculpted this for Don Post back in 1977. Pretty rare today although you do occasionally find one and who knows maybe if uh, you start a letter writing campaign this week maybe Don Post Studios will eventually reissue the awesome Eric the original Phantom of the Opera type character mask, which says right on the back, Don Post Studios 1977, for your reading enjoyment. There you have it. Join us here again next week, and watch out for the monsters.